is over and she's like in the room like down the hall and i guess she just doesn't know how to shut the fucking door because i can hear absolutely everything on her fucking tv i can't hear anything no i know no but i can hear everything Mm -hmm. and it's it's like what the fuck are you doing beautiful we're set up we're live Oh, we are alive. Uh oh. Alive but dead inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, wrong email. Oh, we should probably pull that up, huh? I mean, I guess we don't really need to. We've been using the same one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Just for the the beginning and end. Well, Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. what is um top of mind? Hold on. Food. Hmm. Uh, I just hmm? ate, man. Nice. Messages failed to load. Okay, Discord. That's fine. Hey, thank you for the follow, Fragilities. Welcome to the Variety Burrito Pod fam. Pod fam. Pod fam. I like it. That was a lot of words to say. Words are, Webster? Words are hard. Get that shit in the dictionary, bro. <clears throat> so... What kind of like absolute random thoughts just go through your minds at the most weird places? Like if you go to a hotel room, the first thing I think about is there jizz how much in this yeah. bed? How much That's is on how much is on my bed? Yeah. And like I went to in Colorado, like the sketchiest of sketchy motels. Mm-hmm. I, I think this place legit had like a one point five star. And uh, I was like, Oh, it's cheap. And when like when I went in there, I was like, "Wow, this is this is dirty." Like, there's, I'm pretty sure there were like drug deals going on outside. And I, I was thinking, I was like, "Okay, there's definitely this place has not been cleaned once," and I'm still gonna sleep on this. this bed. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> one and a half stars, bro. What do you expect? Well, it was cheap, you're right. So I didn't care. It was the dude legit like twenty bucks a night. So I was like, "Dude, fuck it." In college, I'm balling on a budget. Yeah, it's, it's just like. That kind of stuff, you know, like, honestly, like, if you put a black light to a hotel room, how <laughs> clean is it actually? Yeah. I mean, I so I stayed in shitty hotels for a long time when I was working out of town. Mm-hmm. And, like, mm-hmm. when you're tired, though, you don't give a fuck, dude. That that bed is the most comfortable <laughs> fucking thing you have ever been in. Ever. You're just out as soon as you hit it? Yeah, dude. Well, I'm not That's even, fair. like... I don't give a fuck regardless whether I'm tired or not. That's the thing. It's just like I'm just like fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cuddle on this cum rag of a fucking blanket <laughs> that they gave me, and I'm just, I'm gonna fucking do it. I mean, like, dude, shit. If that shit's actually that nasty, I'm probably just grabbing a pillow and sleeping on the floor. That's probably worse. Yeah, yeah. Pillows you think are fucking people dirty, bro? Aim? Like you think you can? Well, Not I just for my head, for... just for some support, you know? Well, just lay on the Dude, pillows. Regardless, like, okay, if you're just going to lay on the pillows on the floor, then at that point, just lay on the fucking bed. I just go uh, sleep in like, my car. The... Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> paid for this you hotel. Paid for, for this <laughs> hotel yeah. you're like, I, I paid for the parking spot outside, really. Yeah, all right. <laughs> just yeah. Like, I'll take a shower car. in the morning. I'll just go sleep in my fucking car. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Not a bad strategy, though. Even the shower was fucking bad. Okay, so I went with wow. my roommate at the time and then two other friends. And then they asked, like, hey, can we come use a shower? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. We got a shower, too. And they jizzed all in your that shower. Shit, that shit did not drain, my guy. It didn't drain. I was the last. It was to, a bath. It, it was disgusting. <laughs> it, it turned into a bath. And I was the last one to go in to take a shower. And... That was disgusting, bro. Like actual dirt water. At, my bathtub was filled. In it. 
and I was st- that shit's almost to my knees, my guy. That's what I'm saying. So you have three <laughs> other dudes, dirty nut water that you're two standing dudes, in. Uh, two why dudes. Why are you gonna say like that and though? A, and a girl. <laughs> I mean, one of the dudes 100% was was a dirty guy, so I don't trust him. Kind of hippie ish. I'm sure y'all can connect the dots there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder who that is. (laughs) Yeah, right. But you got tainted, bro. I mean, you stood in his. Stood in his water, man. His bath water. Yeah, next time I'm going to go first. I'm just going to (laughs) pee. I'm just going to pee in it. I'm going to fuck everyone who comes after me. Honestly, (laughs) fuck it. But you you remember that time I bathed in your dirt water? Well, you're bathing in my piss water right now. Delicious. I'll just hydrate, you know, so it's clear and they'll never fucking know. No, don't. That it's an alpha move. <laughs> if you don't. Yeah. You're just like feast your eyes. I had pissed in this tub. Like, damn, why is this water yellow? I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know. Must be must be the fucking I don't know bad pipes. Yeah. But no, like I also like been like so the the one thing honestly like I'll do fucking a lot of shit you know I don't give a fuck when it comes to like certain standards. Um, the thing that fucks me up the most is bugs. Bugs gross me out. Like dude, I, if ever like a hotel like had bed bugs or something, I'd probably lose my fucking mind. Dude, a roach. Like I saw a roach one time in my college apartment, and honestly, I was like, I am disgusted. I am disgusted. It wasn't even this. in the kitchen. Yeah. It wasn't even in the kitchen, bro. It was in my no. tub. How the why the <laughs> fuck that shit in my tub? Came from the drain, <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, Imagine they just start swarming out of there. Nah, that thing did not come from the drain. That shit was way too big to come out of that little ass drain. <laughs> that that was the queen roach right there. Nah, bro. It's just oh my fucking god. Yeah, I can't imagine. And if one place has it. <laughs> If one place has it, they all got it. Yeah, they're everywhere. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's why I don't go in the uh, downstairs restroom at uh, the office where I work. Because, bro, one time the fucking one of the owners was taking a shit down there. <laughs> and this motherfucker had a roach run up his leg while he's taking a shit. <laughs> like, what do you do at that point, man? I mean, bro, you, you clinch yeah. and you keep it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. pinch it off. Up. Yeah, you pinch. You, you just pinch it off and call clinch. it a day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going home for the day, guys. I got some business to take care of. So, like that, the ba- the downstairs bathroom is like what, like the access to everybody. So it's like the super public one. No, saying? dude. Surprisingly, so like when COVID hit, like our building pretty much emptied out, right? But before COVID, yeah. man, the second floor is the and that's the floor that my office is on. The fucking worst, bro. It's like. You walk in there at any hour of the day, there's only two stalls, both are closed, and there's two guys fucking having a grunting competition, blowing that shit up. Any hour of the day, you walk in there. Gosh. Must so, be nice to so shit it's de- in a bathroom, it's, though. Yeah, right? That's, uh, that's look, fair. I work in construction sites, and we got these fucking crusty, dusty fucking porta johns. They haven't been cleaning forever. You you don't even have yeah. to walk in. You could smell it. You're like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> Maybe the masks are a good thing, bro. No, dude. It, it, it like, sticks on the mask. Like, you gotta, oh, shit. Yeah, you got to take that motherfucker off. Like, <laughs> Every time you walk by, yeah. you fucking tuck it in your shirt. Dude, it's terrible. I hate it. Yeah. They're pretty gross. They clean them weekly? Well, okay, not so... Even. They're supposed to, right? At the beginning of COVID, they were like, oh, we're going to clean it all, like, every other day or whatever. Sanitize it down. We'll have, like, the crews, like, the the general contractors. They had crews come through and clean them. And, like, they didn't really fucking clean them. It didn't really get, like, to where they cleaned them all the time until maybe, like, two months ago, three months ago. And then they stopped because they were like, oh, COVID's gone. We don't have to worry about that. And then now they're just back to like once a week. So gross, dude. Yeah. It, the way they work is it's supposed to be like one Porta John per five people on the site. And I'm on sites with like two, three hundred people. And we got like four shitters. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're on this note. Okay, you go first. I, we're on, yeah, I was about to say something. I was working on a high-rise building last summer, thirty-two stories high. Right on the roof, they had a shitter. Right, they were supposed to fly this down nice. every day, and and change it. Right, they never changed it. It was up there for months. The shit was literally to the fucking brim. It was disgusting. It was so That's bad. Rough. When they moved it, when they moved it, people like people were throwing up. It was bad. It was so <laughs> disgusting. All right, I'm done. I mean, it's, yeah. like I that, it's like the scene from Jackass with the porta potty slingshot. Or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's disgusting. At what point does somebody walk in there and say, "This shit is almost to the rim"? I'm gonna sit down. I'm a pop a squat, dude. When you got well, a shit in your 32 floor, stories in yeah. the fucking, you're like, I'm not running back up this bitch. I got yeah. up here. The elevators take like an hour, and you gotta go. You're like, fuck it. I'm going like. Are you are you saying that you? I didn't use that one in no, the full shitter. I didn't. Okay. I try. Yeah. I try really hard not to use those. I'm, like it's got to be an emergency. Where yeah. I'm like I gotta go. It's like you go somewhere to lunch. You take a shit there instead. I I don't even do that. You just don't shit. <laughs> I I mean I got <laughs> nah, a routine. I was a little personal. I, but I got I want a routine. You to be comfortable. I but... got a routine. As soon as I get home, it happens. <laughs> I, I I normally I don't have to do it until I get home, and then as soon as I walk through the door, I'm like, Oh okay, God! Oh no, <laughs> oh, no one's in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, people are fucking gross, dude. Honestly, I went to a a festival over the weekend, mm. and. uh so it was a two-day festival, Friday and Saturday. And so Saturday night, like towards the end of it, I was like, all right, I got to pee. So I go into the porta potty. These are like, I guess the porta potties are like the nicer ones, I guess, like because they have like the little urinal thing too. Mm -hmm. But who the fuck shits in the urinal? Like, <laughs> what, what, what kind of menace to, are you? Bro? Like, <laughs> this it was not even full. Oh. Like, and this motherfucker in the urinal. Like, dude, you are an asshole. Plus, I, the urinal thing's like this small, bro. So, the fa this, and it was kind of high. So, this motherfucker was basically standing up to do this. Probably like, on his fucking like, tippy toes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what a dick. You know, he what, got that shit all minds. over his cheeks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> It was a, like uh, if you're standing loose, shitting, loose bro. Situation. Yeah, <laughs> he thought it was such a good idea. He's like, "Fuck." You know what's the craziest thing is whenever you go somewhere and there's like shit on the wall, you're like, "How? Yes. How? How? Dude. How? Dude, fucking how? I've gone, I've gone to like, okay, so like I got, I go to eat at a lot of places, right? Yeah, I, I, I work in in Austin. There's tons of places to eat. Uh, it was like. Hold up. Were these Mexican food restaurants? No, they weren't Mexican food restaurants. <laughs> okay, like you know, that should make you go sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, okay, I, I don't remember exactly what restaurant it was. I just remember distinct, like walking in, and I'm like, "All right, everybody's at the urinals. I really have to piss. I'm just gonna go to the the fucking the toilet." Oh. Right? I'm like, mm -hmm. "Fuck it." So I go. I walk in. There's there's shit on the wall. I was like, <laughs> "I get it now," and I just close the door. But like, I'm out. Like. I don't have to piss anymore. I don't want to be here. Like, Not even away for a year. Dude, and all. it was it was like a clump. Like someone had to fucking grab it. Like monkey that shit. Yeah, they, they had to fucking something. grab it. Ah, into the wall or like it was like what the fuck, man. You know it's equally confusing, bro. I walked. I hope they wash their hands up too. I hope they. Did. Yeah, I hope it. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not, honestly. That way everyone knows to stay the fuck away from them. Yeah. <laughs> Menace. Yeah. But I walked into the stall the other day. Uh, I think it was actually yesterday. Just sh fucking smeared shit on the toilet seat. And it's like, that is equally like, how the fuck? Like, how do you, I, and bro, the worst thing, right? The worst thing, someone was standing at a urinal, right? And I walk into the stall and I see shit on the toilet seat. There's a guy in another stall and then somebody else walks in and is using the other urinal. So there's two urinals, two stalls in the restroom. So everything's occupied and I'm just like, 
I don't want to walk out of here and them think that I did this. Mm -hmm. oh, you <laughs> so I it. just no, 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 okay. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. You just waited. You waited. I just waited. I just right. waited. Okay, good, good. I was like, I'm gonna let these guys piss. They're gonna go. And I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> and so I fucking I just stood there, but I was like, is it weird that like they don't the guy in the stall now knows that I'm not turning around, dropping my pants and squatting. Like he he knows like I'm just, just standing, standing here by the door. Yeah. Like he's like, dude, this guy's a perv. Yeah, it was the <laughs> worst, dude. There. It was the worst. But Should've I got the fuck like... out of there and I was like, the roaches, the roaches are better. <laughs> I was like, the roaches are better. You should have been like, Hey, you come here often? Just like break the silence with that. Yeah. Yeah, pretty awkward. But I've heard. Well, I so I used to work at like a diner that tailored specifically towards old motherfuckers. <laughs> um, I was, and this was like back when I was like a busser. I I never oh. I got lucky that I was never on working these days, which is very convenient for me since I worked there full time. That. These old people would shit on the walls. Like, and when I talked to my manager about it, he's like, dude, they're just old. Sometimes they like just can't make it to the toilet. What do you mean? They made it. Like <laughs> they were in these they individual bathrooms. Yes. <laughs> like, they, like that had to be like, again, a scene at a jackass or bad grandpa when they just do the, the shit on the walls to fuck with people, bro. Like that's what had to happen. Like you pulled your pants down instantly. Boom, it happened. Like, I mean, I, I like if not, they're old, you know, shit. if they're old, like, is it like high up on the wall? Like, bro, that shit has to be kind of explosive. If it's gonna, you know, like, oh, fucking um, prune juice, bro. They're all, right <laughs> yeah. they're all cleared out. Dude, that pent up gas, bro, <laughs> ready to blow. Yeah, um, I don't know. I never saw it, I never had to clean it. Oh, that's good. And never, honestly, I'm glad because I wouldn't have done it. I would have lost my job. I would have been like, I'm not that shit. Like, no, 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 I work no, no, no. in a restaurant, not a nursing home. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that's disgusting. I used to work imagine, imagine being the person who finds that shit because no one's gonna come out and say, "Hey, just to let you know, I just shit on the walls. I need <laughs> someone to like, no, no, no. They they did it." And they just left, right? They went and sat down like nothing happened. Be imagine being that person who just fucking walks in, and it's like a paint job all over <laughs> shit, bro. Like, what do you new what mural, do you do? bro? You just like stand there in shock, looking at it. Like, what? What is? Yeah, I would that's think. literally what happens. Yeah. Like I walked into the and, saw and I, and I just froze in and I was like, what do I do in this situation? What happens now? Like, yeah. Quickly get a witness. Be like, hey, come here. I didn't do this shit. I swear. Like, come with this. Yeah, I didn't do this. I swear. Oh my God. I don't know. I think that would make things worse, bro. Because <laughs> they'd be like, this guy definitely fucking did this. Yeah. Like, nah, bro. I haven't even gone yet. Like, fuck. <laughs> That was that wall's looking pretty nice though. <laughs> that <laughs> nice to, clean one over there. <laughs> might need to fill in some of the, the gaps here. Yeah, that they missed. They missed this spot. paint job. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I used to work at a truck stop. Mm. Yeah. There was some crazy shit that happened in the bathroom. There was one time. One specific time. It didn't affect me, but it affected somebody else. And the entire store could hear it. Right? So <clears throat> there was this lady. She drove a truck, but she was also in a wheelchair. How it worked. Literal meals on wheels. I guess. 24 7. Okay. Well, she was causing issues like at the truck stop. Right? Uh, so she was there one day, or the first day she was there she started a fight like <laughs> basically a guy she asked the guy she was like i have no money can you help pay for this so he did and as he was paying for it she was like he sexually harassed me and so like this big russian dude was like what and he was she was like yeah he tried to touch me and like we have camera footage and like there's our employees are back there so they're like whoa hold the fuck on like none of this happened what are you talking about and anyway, it starts like a fist fight between these guys. 
<clears throat> and they were like, yeah, get this lady out of here, right? So well, these guys. Yeah. Yeah, the Russian dude and the dude that tried to help her. Sexually assaulted her. Oh, okay. Okay. allegedly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and anyway, so she she said something about how her truck was broke down or whatever, and so she was just like posted up outside the door, and like they basically told us like, hey, she can't come in, but we pay we like we can't tell her to fuck off. So like she just sat outside. She would ask people for shit or whatever, and like. We saw her truck. Like, she had a truck. There was nothing... It didn't seem like she came in and changed... Like, anything got fucked up or whatever. Like, she literally, like, got gas, did whatever, parked it, and then got in her wheelchair, came inside, and was, like, causing shit, right? Well, anyway, mm-hmm. it was, like, third day she's there. She comes inside, and um, one of the girls that was up front with me, she was like, okay, I'll, I'll go tell her to leave. I was like, yeah, you do that. <clears throat> so <laughs> she goes and she goes to tell this lady to leave. And the lady was like, well, I just really have to use the restroom. Like, can I please use the restroom? Whatever. So she was like, yeah, you can, uh, it's fine. You can use the restroom. But after that, you got to go. So anyway, she goes into the restroom and like, she's like screaming at people in the restroom. Right. And they come out and like, someone comes up to me. I'm up front. Uh, I think we're doing like a shift change right so it's like 11 so we're do- we're closed down the registers like we can't do anything until we count the drawers and everything well anyway this lady's like there's there's a lady shaving her head in the bathroom and she's screaming at people and i was like what i was like what do you what the fuck like, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Going the fuck on in so, so i i go and find this girl and i was like well, you gotta go in there i can't go in there and she's like, fine. So she goes in there and she tells this lady, she's like, Hey, you gotta, you gotta stop doing this. And this lady's like screaming, dude, like shaving her head. She's like, ah, ah, like she's insane. This fucking lady. And then anyway, like the girl she, like goes over to her and like unplugs the fucking, um, the fucking Race whatever. Yeah. And the lady like wheels herself over to her and like grabs her. And so the girls now the girls screaming like they're they're just screaming like there's just screaming going on. Oh, I'm standing outside. I'm like, chaos. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? Anyway, she Excuse comes me. out. Yeah, she comes out and she was like, I'm gonna fuck this old lady up, dude. Like she was like trying to grab my boobs and shit. Like it was weird. And like I, I was like, I I literally can't do anything. Like someone like somebody somewhere. In there. Yeah, and I was like. Yeah. I, it, it is what it is like it is what it is dude <laughs> there was some crazy so what happened happen. she just left or what no we called, we called the cops and fucking they got her out and they were like yeah this liter- this lady's like on drugs we're like makes sense makes sense yeah there was what another time do? where someone shoved a t-shirt in the in the shitter and mm. um <laughs> it went down the toilet into like the main line and clogged the main line. So like I'm I'm chilling up front. I think I just clocked in, right? I walk in, I got my food, I'm you know, just getting home from school, right? Pretty much, and then like going to work. I go, I clock in, and then immediately I'm like, Man, what the fuck is that smell? <laughs> and like there's like a mop sink or like right next to the fucking where you clock in. I'm like, that's shit. There was shit in that mop sink. Like what? <laughs> and, uh, so, Who shit my mop sink? Yeah, that's, oh, I, I, it wasn't mine. I wasn't fucking maintenance. <laughs> no, so no, I ca- I called the maintenance guys and I was like, "Yo, there's shit in here." Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cleaning it up. Well, and then, like I go into the store and then I look and you know how like the there used to, there used to be that conjoining hall. I think it's still mm-hmm. there to Denny's. Mm-hmm. There's like water so much water yeah. in that hallway there's like shit everywhere and i'm just like oh my god like <laughs> this is bad <laughs> this is <laughs> dude isn't that when that guy what came up I to do? you and he was like i yeah. have to use yes, the restroom yeah, yeah. and you were like you were not using the restroom yeah, yeah, and he yeah. was like i have to and you were like get the fuck out I was, right now I, I, was, I was getting to that <laughs> sorry so, sorry sorry go ahead so anyway do you guys remember james gerard yeah okay he worked there as well well the manager on shift, her name was Miss Nancy. She was super nice. She was like this old lady. Um, and she was like, I really need you guys to help me. And I was just like. <laughs> I wonder uh, with yeah. what. I was like, okay, fine. Fuck it. We'll help you. Like, we'll find all the mops and squeegees. Whatever we can fucking find. We'll fix this. Right. And so 
Me and James are fucking on our way, dude. We got squeegees, mops, fucking brooms, whatever. We got every every fucking wet floor sign in the entire store in Denny's in the Burger King next door. Like, and we blocked off the hall, right? So no one could go in there. Like, to to go past these signs, you had to like, literally, like you see them, you couldn't even step over them. They were like kind of high, so you would have to just walk through them, right? Well, anyway, like, there's literal shit. We're like trying to get it into the drains, like. Whatever we could do, like, trying to make it not as bad as it is, right? <sighs> anyway, there's this, like, people are coming up to the signs, and they're, like, screaming at us. I got to use the restroom. And I'm like, you're more than welcome to stand in shit and piss if you would like. Like, come on, go, go ahead. And, like, they, they were like, no, 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 whatever. Anyway, there was this one guy, this one dude, he, he, he kept coming up. He kept coming up. I kept telling him to fuck off. Well, anyway, I guess he just had enough. And I, and I hear all the signs fall over. Like, he kicked a bunch of them over and just, like, walked past it. And I could hear him, like, whoosh, 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 like, walking through the shit water, right? And I'm like, yo, hey, man, there's shit everywhere. Like, you go in there, it's even worse. There, there's more shit in there than there is out here. Like, and he was like, no, I, got, I have to use the fucking restroom. And I was like, I'm telling you that you can't because you can't flush the toilets that, like, and there's shit coming out of it. Like you can't, you literally uh -huh. cannot use it. And he was like, no, I'm going. He like fucking kicks more signs down, whatever goes in there. And like, I don't remember exactly what I told him, but I pretty much told him like, get the fuck out. Cause he was like, he was like screaming at us or whatever. And it's like, dude, you think I want to do this? You think I want to squeegee up shit? <laughs> like, no, it's not even my fucking job. I'm not maintenance. I'm just helping these motherfuckers out. And I was like, yeah. It fucking sucked, man. Shit's gross. There's like corn floating around and stuff. Oh god, <laughs> not corn. the corn. That's fucking disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, I've never done some shit like that in my life. Thankfully, uh, I will never do some shit like that <laughs> in my life. I don't care if it's my own house. I got employee of the year that year. Nice for dude. the entire company, not just the store. Nice. What'd they give you? Like three cents? 250 bucks. Wow. And a raise, wow. actually, yeah. That's what I meant. Like a three cent raise. <laughs> There's like a dollar. Yeah. That's not bad, I guess. For the time. No, fuck um, no, dude. That shit sucked. <laughs> no, well, I mean, like... like, like I mean, yeah, like, when I'm, I'm a high school kid, dollar. I'm like... I fucking yeah. a dollar, a dollar! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. At the time, it was it was definitely probably ideal. Uh, seems like we lost a man. Um, oh but... what? Oh, but... <clears throat> nah, dude, that that's just whack. I, I could I could never. I could never. I, I just feel like at that place too like what kind of like weird stuff has to be going down because wasn't there like prostitutes like yeah oh, prostitutes yeah. that were yeah whenever i became a manager like you would be surprised how often people come in and they're like there are prostitutes outside and you have to go out there and be like hey fuck off or i'm calling the cops like because you can't just be like oh okay that's fine like no, you have to. You I have know to do them, something. bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm a pimp, bro. Yeah, I manage them and this gas station. They're employees. Dude, that's fucking weird. It's kind of crazy to think too, in like such a small town. Like there's, we would have like these prostitutes. Yeah. I'm assuming they're not locals. I didn't fucking know any of them. I do now. I mean. You Okay. <laughs> you were a customer <laughs> as soon as i quit that job that's the first place <laughs> no. man what about like drugs i mean that was a pretty big gas station Did you guys ever find anything in like showers and stuff like that pound of meth you found a pound a pound of meth or... in the showers or it was might have been like less but it was like a big fucking gallon bag of meth who the fuck just leaves that that's a lot of money. I don't know. Like they just fucking left. 
Maybe they were ditching it. It could have been. There was once. Fuck. My shit's fucking up now too. Uh oh. Ruined boys. Just me and my shitty microwave camera going <laughs> oh, strong, no. baby. Yeah. Right. Nah, it's these fucking cords are dog shit that come with it. You got. I gotta get better cords. Yeah. But man, there was like um. I've never like had any like experiences like with like, finding drugs and stuff like that. I've only like one time I was like renovating a house and it was like. I, Dude, those people though, those like crackheads and shit, like Matthews built hide that shit pretty well. Like I'd find needles like taped like under sinks and shit. And they're just kind of it's just wild. It's honestly wild. Motherfuckers are crazy. They're, they always have a like a really good story too. Like, <laughs> believe me, I, I know. I have I'm not gonna name names, but <clears throat> mother anyway um <laughs> like she always had like a reason right like i would find something and she'd be like oh that, that's for my my back pain remember when i went to the doctor and they like blah blah blah, blah. it's like what are you talking about dude like they don't just give you like like this shit you know what i mean like they don't give you xanax for back pain mom i'm sorry i know <laughs> I've been trying for years. <laughs> Man, that's a little wild. I think, like, my, this guy we used to have that would come, like, or our, our current guy, they had, like, come, like, more grass my parents would hire. This motherfucker is legit old as fuck, and he's he's got fucking stories. And it's just kind of like, he's from El Paso, so that's your first red flag. He's from El Paso. Mm -hmm. And, um, motherfucker. Like he he apparent everything he's always told me just made me be like okay so you were a dick, you were just like naturally a dick. And he's like yeah he's like I would go to a, a concert up in El Paso so he was saying like when he was around like our age mm -hmm. so he's like yeah I'm like 22 years old I can El Paso and he's like these I would like fuck with people he's like I saw a guy carrying a big tray of food and I just knocked that shit on the ground just cause I was like dude you're a fucking dick. <laughs> But um, but apparently during that time, there was like a family there that was like known, and like like their like their their sons and everything were like all like boxers, like semi pro boxers. Like it's a generation thing. Like they've had like everyone like in the family, like the men, you know, like all the men were like semi pro boxers or professional boxers, and that was the father. <laughs> and he said like, "Why did you do that?" And he's like, "Just cause." And he's like, okay, I'll be back. And he said, he's like, then this really young guy came up. And he it was like a legit, like, um, what I don't know what you call them, coots, but he had like the super long, like pointed boots. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, like he would wear those and everything. Or he's like, like that guy low or something. Yeah, and he's like, he legit something. took me to the port of potties and beat my ass. <laughs> and it turned out to be like a fucking semi pro boxer. Like, dude. Like, and he was like laughing about it. I was like, dude, you sound like you're, you're just a complete fucking asshole. Like, of course you're gonna get your fucking ass beat. It just sucked that it had to be by a fucking like professional fighter. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god. Like that dude legit is missing teeth now. He 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 is like that depiction of of like any like cartoon you've ever seen of like an old farmer, you know, and he's like missing all his teeth except for like two or three. That's him. I I feel like I've seen this person before. You probably have. Hold on, I gotta put this in. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, man, it's either that or it's the <laughs> fucking microwave. Oh uh, fuck! Just leave it like that, dude. Fuck <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a it's your it's your good side, man. It's a good angle. 
Yeah, thank you. It's pretty good. I like it. it. Took me a couple attempts to get there. <laughs> it was I, I couldn't just do it from here because if I would have done it through Discord and like moved it over, so I literally had to get on my phone and email it to myself, check my email on here, download the file, then come down over to fucking Streamlabs, upload nice. the image to Streamlabs, and then fucking put it onto there. Sorry, that's why it took so long because I was trying to listen to the story as well as do all. That. Yeah. <laughs> no, right, but dude, honestly, like the older people, the ones who are usually like the shitty, the people I feel like the people, not the shitty people, that's kind of fucked up. The people that always are kind of like down bad have like the best fucking stories. It's true. true. This motherfucker lives in a, a trailer park. And he was telling me too. He's like, yeah. He's like, uh, my neighbor has like a, a problem with like her ex husband. Like he's like domestic violence you know and all this kind of stuff and uh but she would cheat on her husband often like every time he'd go to work like she would have another guy come over and he's neighbors with her and he, he stays at home all the fucking time so of course he, he sees this shit yeah he said this motherfucker is so crazy that um and he also talks to the girl a lot too so that's how he kind of gets all this stuff he said that her husband or ex-husband now fucking told her that he was going out of town for the weekend for work. All right. And um, he's like, my dog, he's like, it was like midnight on a fucking Saturday. And my dog was like going fucking crazy. So I go outside to look. He's like, I see this motherfucker, the husband fucking army crawling up to her fucking trailer, <laughs> like fucking midnight. And then, then I guess like he obviously caught him. I don't know what the fuck happened. Apparently a fuck ton of cops came. I'm sure he started, if he has a problem with domestic violence, I'm sure, like, hands started to be thrown or something. But I'm not sure. Yeah. But this motherfucker was committed. He fucking army crawled up to his own fucking trailer. Yeah. Why not midnight. walk up? I'm not... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He didn't want them to, to get any alerts, man. Yeah, Let the yeah, guy go out so. the window or something. I mean, I as know, soon but... as I heard the dog barking, I'm like, it just gigs up, dude. I'm fucking running now. Like I'm busting that door down or something. I don't know. But dude, what what that's so fucking weird. Honestly, uh, I guess in that situation, I guess I could say it because it's not happening to me. Is I would just be like, fuck it. I'd go home, I'd grab all my shit, leave some divorce papers on the fucking table, just fucking deuces. But I feel like I guess if you're in the situation it's a little Yeah. A little different. And he's all they're obviously like apparently prone to violence, so I don't think he was like, "Yeah, let me just go get some divorce papers real quick." I mean, <laughs> keep fucking my wife, man, while I go get these papers. Don't worry about not it. Not your <laughs> wife anymore. Divorce. But no, seems like a Honestly, charge. I'm not trying to go to jail over some dumb. Never mind. Well, he did. He fucking did. <laughs> uh -huh. But I mean, also I think like she didn't work too, so. Honestly, get the fuck out of my trailer, bro. <laughs> get your fuck, go sleep with your fucking boyfriend. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. But no. So go fuck his stories. And like, um, remember our old history, Mr. Coyle, our old history teacher? Believe, believe me, I his, remember like, Mr. Coyle. His, his mm -hmm. Vietnam stories, like the weed. Yeah. When they had to burn them, but he had, they made sure the helicopter was flying over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. Do you remember why he said he wouldn't drink? Or he doesn't drink more than one beer now? No, I don't, I don't think he ever told me that one. It might have been in our class, uh, Tyler, whenever I moved to yours. Um, so he was talking about... Um, I don't know, someone said something about, like, go home and have a drink or something. He was like, I only have one beer. and Or, or one, one glass of, of, like, whiskey or something, right? Because he said whenever he was in Vietnam, he went out. I guess he was like in charge of a group. I, I'm, I'm not sure what rank he was, right? But he was educated, so I'm sure that had to do something with it. But uh, anyway, they go out and they go out and they party, and they drank so much. And I, I, here's the thing: is I feel like there's definitely other things in play that he didn't say, because Mr. Cole used to be a hippie. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, he uh goes out. They go. They go into town. They get fucked up. Well, whenever they're supposed to come back, like they're supposed to be back at like six in the morning or something for like drill or whatever the fuck. He's like, we have 30 minutes to get back. Right. So 
he goes to drive the car or like the Jeep and he can't remember how to put it in drive, but he can get it into reverse. So he reversed his ass all the way back to the fucking base. And like, he got there and they were like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, <laughs> was he late? I don't remember this. I don't, I don't remember if he was late or not. I just remember him saying that he he was running late. Yeah. I mean, if they were up and they were like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. It might have been a little late. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> I just hope I have, like, I mean, we we already have, like, some decent stories, mm-hmm. like, coming out of, like, high school. But it's, like, I'm just, I hope we have, like, at least, like, one where it's, like, absolutely insane. Yeah. Like, I want to almost did. die. At the, like at the pace I'm going serious. at, at the pace I'm going at in my adult life, I'm never gonna have a goddamn story to tell to anyone. All my stories are GTA RP. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> bro, at this point, play as if they happened. Yeah. IRL, man. Like, man, one time back when I was young, I ran a mafia. <laughs> Not wrong. No. <laughs> yeah. But. Oh my god! I just hope the only I think yeah the only thing that the pace I'm going at the only way I'm gonna almost die is from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. I remember that one time whenever um big big Tyler got yep yeah big man we're we're all like sleeping. Zach comes and tries to wake me up. Well, I think first maybe he tried to wake you up first. No, no, he did come. He came and got me because he thought he I would know me. what to do, and then. He it's was like, yeah. <laughs> I was. Right. It's like let's let's get the professional on this. I I was an alcoholic. Um. <laughs> anyway, he was like, Tyler's like past like he's he's not asleep, but he's like not responding. He can't talk. He's just making noises. He's throwing up everywhere. And I was like, What the fuck do you want me to do about it? I was like, I'm fucking sleeping, guy. And he was like, well, may- maybe you can help. And I was like, I-, I guess. Like, I'm fucking up now, dude. Like, all right. I go out there. Joel and Jared are, like, sucking each other off or something. They're laughing in the corner. I'm like, all right, what the fuck's going on? Tyler's sprawled out on the floor. There's throw up all over him, like, all over your floor and shit. And I was like, what the fuck happened? Like, we went, we didn't even drink. We didn't even drink last night. Like, we went to bed. What the fuck? And so, like. Then Joel, he's like, nye, 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 fucking comes over and he's like, I told Tyler he was a pussy and he wouldn't like keep taking shots because I guess him and Jared were having like a competition. Yeah. And then I was like, okay. And Jared's fucking like slumped over in the fucking corner too. So I'm like, all right, this makes sense now a little bit. And so like I go to talk to Tyler and he's just like, nye, nye. And I'm like, okay, well, let's sit him up. Let, let's get him some fucking water. And then Zach was like, well, we tried to give him water, but he wouldn't drink it. So I just poured it on him. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the, the fuck? That didn't even make sense, guy. He's the- gonna <laughs> He's gonna absorb absorb it. Like, yeah. <laughs> and so like, we started giving him water and shit. And like, I think it was like, it, it might've been winter. So it was like cold outside. And I was like, just put him outside. Just l- let him like throw up outside that way he's not throwing up in the on the floor and like Caden's gonna get in trouble and shit so let's not do that so like he goes out there and like he starts getting worse like he's not drinking he's drinking water now and he's getting worse so i was like man i don't like if this motherfucker dies <laughs> like it's not it's gonna the, be on me like the body wasn't numb anymore yeah. it started like recovering it was like yeah. what the fuck is going on and he's a big fucking dude so like we're trying to pick him up and move him and he's just all his weight and like like what 250 at the time probably maybe more maybe like, more we were, like we were like 15 16 years old yeah and like i'm a big guy i could pick up a lot of shit but like i could not move this motherfucker he was like a no one pick up big yeah Mac. i'm like he all right Mac for a reason i'm like fuck it dude like leave him out there <laughs> like, let him throw up for a little bit so we let him fucking puke for a while and like we went to see if he was better like jared sobering up at this point like i don't think joel drank but he was being less of a fucking troll which is rare and like mm. at that point like i was trying to talk to tyler and he just like he was it was getting worse so i was like fuck it man go wake caden up and zach <laughs> was like no you do it 
I was like, no, <laughs> fuck you. You do it. <laughs> like, no. And I think I went in and I told you. And you were like, what the fuck? And I was like, I don't know, dude. I was asleep, too. They woke me up. So you go out there and you're like, I think you were just in your underwear. You, were just, you like, looked at Tyler. Like, he's fucking dying in the corner. And you just, like, looked at him and you're like, I'll go get Tom. <laughs> and he wanted fucking to woke Tom up. And, like, they gave him fucking water and pedialyte or whatever the fuck and he sipped it out of a straw like a fucking child and he recovered it was an interesting yeah. night yeah and then the fuckers left yeah they left in the morning they didn't even clean up i think it was like the only people that actually stayed i guess was jerry jerry was the only one that actually like kind of helped clean up and tucker what a fucking trooper i think i had work in the morning yeah, all the motherfuckers who weren't drinking, other than fucking Jared, were the ones who had to stay and clean up. Everyone else fucking left. Like pieces of shit. So. I remember the party we had in the field. In, uh, Which one? The one on your birthday. That was like everyone. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> you gotta specify. The one where Will jumped in the fire. <laughs> okay. And like For the $100 bill? The yeah. fake 100 or something. And then, like, everybody left, and it was literally, like, me, you, I think Tyler, cleaning up everything. Might have been Joel, too, but Joel doesn't do shit. He just kind of stood there and played Knights and Dragons. <laughs> so. Makes sense. Sounds about right. And everybody ate all the breakfast before I could go up there. Oh, yeah. I cooked all those fucking eggs. Yeah. I was up there while you were making it. I remember. Dude, fucking animals. Yeah. Ethan was like, bro, you don't know the best trick for eggs? You crunch up Doritos and put them in there. Ethan said that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Collins or? I'm pretty sure. That... Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I just remember like, I think that was for my birthday too. So I it remember was. like that night before my mom got cheesecake and just brought us fucking cheesecakes, mm-hmm. but she didn't bring us anything yep. else. Just whole ass cheesecake. So everyone's like, <laughs> fuck it. And we just start grabbing it like with our hands and just start eating it like fucking animals. At, at that point, we're all fucked up anyway. So it didn't matter. We were like, what's COVID? Like, we don't know. It's like but... it's eight o'clock yeah. at night and we're already like heavily intoxicated. And then, like, even in the morning, like, whenever like ev- we cooked all the eggs, everyone's with their fucking hands in the house. It's like, dude, there are plates and everyone's just like with their hands. Just yeah. like eating. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on yeah it was an interesting yeah. night i re- i remember you getting upset because i think someone fell on the tent or something caleb no oh well, caleb fell over the it knocked the, over all the beer right yeah the beer uh table the alcohol yeah, yeah. table yeah yeah and we were already like limited on what we had and then it was gone yeah i got shit we were able to get more shit but like i remember specifically i had the, those two bottles of like watermelon what was it? the the watermelon the brisk? brisk yeah yeah, yeah. I, and you know i had my special little mix those things were fire bro they were like dangerous as fuck and like you didn't have to drink much of it to be fucked up and i remember i can't remember if it was joseph or if it was it might have been joseph joseph left remember because <clears throat> he had like a sip of yeah. a beer and he was like my stomach hurts Maybe, i'm trying to remember i don't remember who it was but someone like slammed an entire one and i was like oh my god you're going to die <laughs> like <laughs> you don't understand how much vodka i put in that like you're gonna like, die it's not a bottle per <laughs> serving my guy there's yeah. like seven servings in yeah. that shit. <laughs> i was like you could have six people and drink this and you'll all be like great if you drink it alone you need to get your stomach pumped. Like you're fucked. You're fucked. And not, nothing happened, but I was like, damn dude. And then like, I was also upset because I was like, we're limited on our resources here and you just drink it all. You fucking dick. Like, man, yeah. what the fuck? Now I remember I went to go get more shit. And then whenever I came back, your parents blocked off the gate. <laughs> they were like, no, <laughs> no one's leaving tonight. But like, well, no one planned on it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Other than our resupply. Man. Unfortunate. I don't even think we have the resources to throw one more big bash. 
You don't think we do, or you think we do? The, oh, I mean, we have the resources. We don't have the people. I'm sure we could scrounge together some people. Man, I don't want any like little little bitches. I feel like anyone we haven't kept in contact now is that's... there for a reason. <laughs> Isn't here for a reason. Hey, man, <laughs> you know? That's literally everybody. I talked to you two and Ryan, and that's it. Yeah, I got like a few, oh. but that's like outside of y'all. So it's, yeah. Fuck it, man. We'll just like post it on Facebook, all social medias, paid advertisements. Project like X. And, yeah, Project Fuck X. Fuck it, dude. Let's do one, one good one. One good one for the books. And I'll just, uh, we'll do it like the day before we move. That way I can't be responsible for this. I don't fucking live here. I don't know what the fuck happened. Okay. But Kieran, my brother, be like, yeah, did you, did you, were you here last week? <laughs> you do something? You didn't invite me to a party? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Fucking asshole. But uh, yeah, that would be fucking sick. Dude, IRL Project X be cool. As long as it wasn't my house that wasn't getting trashed. Yeah, true. My house used to get trashed. I had people here all the time. I I wouldn't be here if people were here. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think we could. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think. I think you're right. I don't think we have the the, the resources to ha like pull that off. At least with people we know, you know. It wouldn't be as fun if you don't have like the bodies for it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like it's more at that point just like a, like a get together. Mm -hmm. so. I don't really see myself drinking like that anymore either. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I do sometimes. I mean, it's just like situational, you know. It's not like I'm over here on the weekend by myself, just fucking slamming these beers and shots. Yeah. Like at that point, you have a problem, but. I mean, I go to like an occasional like party thing, but like I'll drink heavily then. It just really depends, you know. Like if I have a nice bed to sleep in that night, like fuck it. Yeah, there are no limits. I don't give a shit. Oh yeah, it's 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 different. Maybe one more. We'll see. You took my car for a ride. How dare you? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I mean, fuck, dude. Whenever we're just a little bit younger, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like now <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty picky about, like, what I'm drinking or just what – in general, like, whatever I, I'm, uh, like, at a party ingesting into my body, you know, when I was slightly younger. I didn't mm -hmm. give a fuck what it was. Is that that's a drink? Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's a. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, like free? That's a butt pill. I I wouldn't do those. But and anything else is fucking fair play. That's fair. I mean, I mean, even now though, I'm not like super picky. The only thing like I don't drink like by itself is vodka now. I know like back it back mm. in the day like that was our shit, right? Like we thought like, yeah vodka. Now it's like no, I don't I don't fucking I don't fuck with it. I, I mean, I like to try stuff more than I, like, yeah. like to just sit, like, I do have my favorites, but I'm not sitting here fucking slamming it all the time. I like mm -hmm. to go and, and try things, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. like different beer or different, like a different whiskey or like, I like trying wines and shit now. I'm, I don't know. Wine. I probably Dude, have so one more good party in my, in me, but. Uh, I could do a lot. I don't got one more. I, I mean, I, I'm like 22. I, I, I guess the much. thing is, I could sit here and say that, but like, even when we went out for drinks like a couple of weeks ago, right? Like, mm -hmm. we had like, what, two beers and like a shot or something? I like, yeah. I, I was like, I could do more. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's go do more. Like, you know? So I guess it's like, once you get that little taste, you're like, are we going to continue or what? But like, I could sit here now and like not be drinking and not out and doing shit and be like, yeah, I it's don't do like, that it's anymore. situational, man. Yeah. It's like in the moment type of stuff. Sometimes you feel it. Sometimes you don't, but thank you Matt, said, for the gifted sub. Sorry about that. There's this fucking thing. I saw, have you ever heard of like an infinity bottle? No, the but it sounds bottle. very interesting. So you can, you do it with whiskey. All right. So you get an empty bottle 
So like once you finish a bottle and then you take one shot of like just multiple different whiskeys and you just add like one shot in, you know, from multiple different kinds. And like over time, like it infuses all the flavors into like a new whiskey, right? Because it's just so, and like the longer it sits, the more time the flavors get to infuse. And the thing is, it's called the infinity bottle because you never let it run out. Like as you like take more out, you're supposed to like refill it with like keep going, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's just like this super unique fucking bottle of whiskey. Sounds like but a COVID breeding ground. Well, I mean, not really. If you're like sucking <laughs> no, straight out of the yeah. fucking bottle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends. No, you know, I get you what like you're saying. You, it or are you like you, full mouth over the top? I mean, come oh, on. Oh, you got to deep throat it. Yeah, obviously. You got to, you know, use the neck to really get it yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah. No, no that like, sounds like a cool idea, though. Yeah, I like different whiskeys. No. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you do like mix it with a lot of shit, too, pretty fucking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my alcoholic. My alcoholic talk. I guess if I had to pick a favorite right now, uh, it would have to be just like white tequila or like the the clear shit. You know, I'm enjoying it. Not a huge fan of like. 1800 you know, like, yeah like 1800 or the that's pretty good Caramana. the other one the s, s the blanco s Pallone. ls balone is yeah, goaded yeah, yeah. dude it's cheap and it's fucking good yes yeah. yep do i have a Can't wall get AC? some yes i have a window ac mm. it gets hot it, in it's, Tejas, it's all fucking right. hot as shit in texas okay mm. Yeah, I left work. It was 99, halfway home, 100. I got home, 101. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, Stop. Walk, walk into the fucking truck in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> I just broke a sweat. I'm yeah. fucking hot, bro. It's like, it'll be like 5 in the morning. I'm like, yeah, it's hot it's as fuck. There's still. no sun. <laughs> There's no sun right now, and it's hot as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder who will be the next in the door frame. I don't know. I don't know. It's not the yeah, door frame. Just... It's just the straight up fucking door. That's not what he said. What? <laughs> I said it's not what he said. Door of fame. Oh, okay. I'm I'm an idiot, so I can't read. <laughs> no one has actually earned the privilege to be on the actual door frame. Yeah, yeah, yet. yeah. It's, it's a special place. There's a special a special way to get on the door frame. Yeah, that would be the door frame of fame. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next level. Dude, our trip is coming up. I know. Two Pretty weeks, hyped. week and a half, actually. Week and a yeah. half, and then... Well, and then next month, we're moving. That's exciting. And then... Uh, in fucking October, Vegas, baby. Hell Vegas, yeah, baby. yeah, my dude. I'm thinking about booking the track, dude. If you do it, you booking gotta Booking a trap? A oh, trap. I mean, when track. in Vegas, am I right, my guy? <laughs> well, it happened in Vegas. <laughs> Stay in Vegas. Except for <laughs> herpes. herpes. Yeah, yeah that 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 come with. <laughs> What are you saying, Coots? I was going to say, let me know, because I, I want to do it, too. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's a good way to spend money. <laughs> that sounds fucking badass. I mean... Yeah. We get to race fast cars on a fucking closed track, right? Yeah. It's Maybe, badass. Yes. Yeah, that sounds cool. Maybe we'll look at it uh, next weekend. Yeah. Some bitches but, are going, so... I yeah, know. unfortunately. You know they actually have that in Austin? Awesome yeah. Too, right. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Formula One. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. I wonder, like, uh, what. You can take your own car out there. Out. Yeah. You want to race Play me on that track? I can have no. sport mode, man. Yeah, Tyler, <laughs> you're. I'm you're good, guys. Good old American <laughs> muscle, baby. I'll, I'll watch. Nah, Tyler, you're the. You're the uh, you know what? No, no, no. I'll just rent one of the cars. It's fine. Dude, just wall grind. <laughs> You'd be okay. Yeah, oh, if that's fair. 
The thing is, my car is probably the only one that could handle that out of any of them. Dude, my, my car would fucking fall tank. Apart. Actually, <laughs> I don't know, dude, because some dude fucking slammed in the back of my car. Nothing happened to my car. His shit was fucked up. Like, it looked like he just hit a fucking wall. I look at my car. He, like, put two cracks in the, in the, in the license plate holder frame. That's it. I was like, oh, hell yeah. I love, I love American made. I love it. <laughs> It's funny they always talk about uh, Ford skimping out on the actual quality of shit, even though the cars are dope and they're fast and fun. Mm -hmm. They talk about shit the quality of all the material is. Mm -hmm. Hey man, that Mustang's fucking heavy, bro. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know. Like, it's it's a mixed opinion on these cars, man. American muscle, but it's not the same anymore. Ain't the same. The you, down. you like the luxury, you know, the sophisticated I don't, side. I don't really give a fuck how fast my car actually fucking goes. Dude, I could not give a fucking shit. It could have the engine of a minivan. I don't give a fuck. All I care about is how it actually looks. It's like the appearance, you know? It's, it's the like, fucking smallest wiener shit I've ever heard in my life, bro. I'm just saying, like, I, I don't, I don't care. Like, well, I'm not like into, like, I'm not like a super car guy, right? Like, I'm not gonna like, yeah, spend Six thousands thank you for the tripping or, out my fucking the aftermarket car. shit. Yeah, yeah, like, it's not even gonna increase the value of the car. Um, but no, nah, I don't care. It's just like, it's like, and like, dude, I've heard people like, oh, I want to get this car could so fucking fast. That's cool, bro. When the fuck are you ever gonna actually go that fast? You know, like realistically, All the like, time. Hey man, not, not really. I topped that motherfucker out on the on the toll road. <laughs> I mean, I've gone like okay. I think at some point we all are like, okay, I want to see how fast my car can go. Everyone's done that with their car. They're like, fuck it, I wonder how fast it will go. Like when not will me. It... You've never like I, just I one cannot... time pushed it to full speed just to see. I think I that cannot, the, the I'm time... not gonna let my Camry fucking my even O six Camry, bro. <laughs> that shit needs. I need to get that shit to five hundred thousand miles. Okay, if I do that, it's not gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's fair. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, it's like now my grandma's 2016 Camry. I'll go on a little faster. Yeah, like you guys go fast. Everyone speeds, right? Everyone fucking speeds. Everyone goes fast on the highway. Whatever. You know, I go like yourself. hundreds. Shut up, bitch. I know for a fact you do. I race you a lot. Of <laughs> <way>. oh. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, no, no reason like anyone anyway, actually is gonna go that fast. So it's it's kind of stupid. I mean, dude. I mean, even like. I don't think you understand the difference in the thrill. Just going like zero to sixty is like yeah another world. I mean, I've I've done it. I've done that kind of stuff. Like been in a Tesla before. That shit goes quick as fuck. Yeah. Um, but it's like I'm just saying. Like for me, it's just like dude. I honestly, unless you're like going to like fucking car shows and all this other shit, no one really fucking gives a shit. Yeah. You know, it's just like, and for me personally, it's just like, does it look good? Cool. That's all that fucking matters. Well, you know yeah. well that's something that we talked about too like the, the other week is uh when that car show was happening outside the fucking the waffle place is like i wouldn't mm -hmm. spend extra like i buy the car i like it we're good mm -hmm. like i'm not going and buying fucking all these extra like body kits and shit and holy fuck hold on yeah i, know, I just saw that too <laughs> how many is it 10 Mads, thank you for the ten gifted subs. You, you're you're that you're that guy, girl. But you know the saying is you're you know. Anyway, I wouldn't I wouldn't put like a bunch of extra expensive shit on the car already. Like after that, like I bought the Mustang. It's good. Like I like the way it looks. Like. That's it. I'm going to leave it as is. Maybe I might like get different rims or something, but like I'm not going to sit there and be like, "Oh, let me get this fucking turbocharger yeah, like, put in this motherfucker." Little things, right? Like little things. Or like, like let me get the the vented fucking the back window how it has this shit like, "Ah, oh, it's too much fucking work, dude." I mean, it looks good. I like it. There's no need to fucking Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh... And honestly, whenever I hear like, you know, those cars like the super 
loud when they like basically what what is that when they take the exhaust off is that what the muffler do? delete like, yeah the muffler yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like dude it's like every time you I cannot take the exhaust it, off like... mads again uh, I, I didn't mean that okay. the okay. thank you for the gifted um, subs i appreciate it a lot <laughs> please, sir, please um, don't, don't try that it. i don't deserve um, it but i appreciate it it's like dude yeah you have like the fucking biggest dick i've ever seen in my life yeah that's the see that's my thing bro every time i see them like dude your dick is yeah my charger was loud like that but i bought it like that when I I I, and I wasn't like gonna change it. I was like, yeah, it sounds good, you know. But it, I don't think it was like obnoxious. Maybe when you were in the car, it was a little obnoxious. But mm. I mean, it's like it, you're almost. But like with people who do that, it's like, dude, like you'll be in like the domain, you know. Oh yeah. That's like you're going slow. Mm. You know, no one's yeah. going fast. Yeah, and they yeah, put it in neutral and just fucking. And then they're just like, do, 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 like do yeah. it, you know, like just like right there. It's like, dude, all right, man. Like, cool. You're not that guy, pal. Attention you're not that guy. You know? that guy, pal. Like, yeah, it's like you're actually coming off as kind of a dick. Because I feel like whenever I look at people like that, I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's not like, wow, let me look at this guy. That guy got a cool car. It's like, no, nah, dude, it's more like, fuck off <laughs> type of yeah. energy. Yeah. Real quick, though, I do want to say That's that I agree that these subs were gifted to like pretty good people. Like, a complete i mean he's one of the people here he's not subbed what a fucking asshole alex that's yeah wobbles he's a he's a good viewer ominous what the fuck man <laughs> dusty du listen, dusty's bro. been a long time listen viewer. bro i, I wanted to be some to say my name all right for one uh, month okay right, you're good you're good i'm just kidding and then sir spoils which i i just forgot for not forgot to oh friend. my god what? I forgot yeah. to renew my prime. <laughs> oh. I did too. I went to go order some on Amazon the other day, and it was, I was like, "What? Not fucking next day shipping? No what the fuck's shipping. going yeah. on here?" Then I was like, "Oh, I didn't renew my shit." I need these fucking fourteen-year-olds sweating their hands off for me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Nothing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Keep that one to yourself, bud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. No, 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 that's a red flag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All but no, 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 I was just, it was just kind of funny. I saw. <laughs> just want to flex my nine month badge. I think, you know what, Binks? There's someone that has a, a, a higher badge than you, and his name is Oatmeal. He's a fucking goat. Goat meal. And he's got, I think he has like a 12 month badge or 11 month. You know, it's badge. funny. <clears throat> it shows nine months when you hover over it, but it looks just the same as everyone else's. Yeah, yeah but look, look at look at this fucking Chad Jake. 14 month subscriber. Jake has a huge dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. I've seen it. It's actually insane. Yeah, I didn't suffer the first month know. or two because I didn't know Mixer would shit its pants. What are you talking about, dude? I didn't start stream. I literally, it was like a month after Mixer after. died that I started streaming on Twitch. Just full of excuses, little bitch. I took a break. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, we were talking about cars. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, cars, man. I mean, honestly, dude, as long as the engine sounds good, like... I don't give a fuck what it sounds like to anybody else because I mean, dude, you got a V8 like, that's just gonna sound good while you're in the car driving it it doesn't fucking matter so I've been talking to my brother about it and he's like, yeah I want my shit to sound loud and I'm like, well, you have a little dick so <laughs> <laughs> my you, got car the, you, you got the you, you got the recessive gene in the family but <laughs> <laughs> my car sounds pretty good it's not super loud yeah, either I, I do too but it just sounds good <laughs> yeah, but you know what's dope is like you've you've seen this is tyler but like whenever i turn the music on it will change yeah. the volume based off the volume of the engine so if i'm driving mm -hmm. super fast it will cover it up that way you don't hear the engine it's pretty fucking yeah. dope it's cool or when, like the, if you the roll part, the windows down yeah it sounds like they're not down yeah it'll change the it'll change shit then too it's fucking pretty cool yeah that shit was great i love how the first time you rolled your windows down bro and you, we were blasting music 
fucking driving and like you didn't even notice and i was like bro i was like i can't even tell the windows are down and you were like what the fuck (laughs) (laughs) there's like wind fucking blowing our hair all around and shit we literally drove like on that that straight road where we tested you know test the speeds out we hit like 115 yeah it like no difference in sound it yeah it's great i don't have subs or anything it's just the, the system's good Oh, fair. I don't know. I'm going to trade it in, though. I've <laughs> contemplated For what? getting rid of my car as well. I don't know. For I, what? I was just going to sell Panto? it. Honestly, yeah, Panto. <laughs> no, I was thinking about selling it and then using that money to buy like an old school uh, Mustang. Uh. Like the 67 Fastback or something. Mm-hmm. Those are fucking nice. I've been looking at them. I can... I can get them without selling the car, but also like I've been saving that money for something completely different <laughs> and I don't want to just spend the money, you know? So it's fair. It's calling my name. I mean, I don't know, man. It just really depends what's in your cards. I mean, I don't know. There will be other opportunities if you want to look at that way, or you could just say fuck it and just do it. Fuck it, flip a coin, dude. When in doubt, flip a coin. Honestly, no, I think I honestly, I think I'll probably just keep. I'm gonna probably buy, like, buy the car full out because right now I'm paying payments, Mm -hmm. and then just keep saving my money to fucking, you know, do the thing. I've honestly thought of just buying a second car. Yeah, like yeah. a heater, <laughs> like a like a truck, uh, like a Ford Ranger, like a or like a Tacoma, an old one, or new like one. one of the newer Tacomas because they're not like big, you know, but they're also not like super small. It's like good medium size. Yeah, if that makes sense. But if I could afford it, bro, I want a fucking Raptor. Those are mm. fucking. They're pretty nice. They are nice. nice, but. Uh, also expensive, so yeah. maybe just get the Tacoma. Yeah. <laughs> I I really like the Tundras, man. Like, yeah, they are nice. They're nice. They you'd be surprised at how fast they go too. <laughs> Not that I know. You're racing with my truck, bro. <laughs> Dude, I mean, even in my you... truck, it was quick. Yeah. It wasn't even you'd the be best surprised. Tundra, like. Yeah. And it was but, spacious, but dude. The There's so is... much room in there. The thing is, bro, they're quick and they're fun, but working at the dealership, bro, the, I always got so happy when someone was like, I'm going to test drive a Tacoma, a new Tacoma. And I was like, yes, because <laughs> those motherfuckers are quick. They're like fucking tiny compared to the Tundras. Mm-hmm. They got that V8. Hey, fucking haul ass. So good, dude. But yeah, I would love to get a second car, but shit's expensive, so not right now. And I, I want to keep the car that I have as well, you know, for like a lot of daily driving. And it's like living in an apartment. I don't want to have two cars here. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. Like probably like after, obviously, I I'm yeah not in an apartment. Well, yeah. I've thought about a motorcycle too. I know I've talked yeah. to Tyler. Mm-hmm. Like I've I've really looked. I even went to go look at some, <clears throat> mm-hmm. just because we're. I mean, we're moving to like the city of Austin. I think it would be good. Like, obviously on a day it's not fucking raining, but like yeah. it'd be easy to maneuver around and shit. I feel like it'd be a cool ride. Yeah, the only thing is that people in Austin don't know how to fucking drive, so. You might get smacked a little bit with that motor. You'd probably die. <laughs> no, with die. my luck, I wouldn't die. I would just be severely just be a injured. Yeah. You'd be fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, ooh, yeah, this isn't going to work anymore. I'm going to have to get my own place. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't take care of your fucking veggie ass. Get the fuck out of here. Kaden, come wipe my ass. <laughs> I got shit on the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's a callback. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. At that point, I feel like I would just leave you. That's fucked up, man. For like ever. If it was, if it was, if it was the other way around, I'd help you out. 
I'm just gonna like take over your room as like my, my office and just make the bathroom your room. Like you're just never getting off the toilet. That's fucked up, man. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. I should have moved in with Tyler. God damn it. Yeah, it's tough. You should have <laughs> missed opportunity. Oh fuck. Oh well. My lease doesn't end for a while, so. <laughs> well, ours is only just beginning. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thirteen months. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I think this one's actually 14. No. Mm. Well, it's 14 from now. No. Literally 14 from now. Today's our moving date in a month. Oh, I was like, today's our moving date. I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What are we doing here? (laughs) I took that Friday off. In my mom's basement. I'm in the garage, literally. Yeah. I don't even think it's a Friday. I think it's a Saturday. It's a Friday. Oh, well, yeah. fuck. Shoot, motherfucker. I, I thought I planned for doing all that shit on a Saturday. I mean, but... you could probably still do it on a Saturday. We could probably yeah. do it on a Friday. It worked. I mean, and y'all already well, signed Well, here's what we could do is, to, like, right? is Friday, we could, like, load it all up, and then Saturday just drive it over there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fine. Dude, I've been throwing away so much shit. Like, th- I have so much shit. That's good. That's honestly probably the best thing about moving is you just get rid of, like... Unnecessary Because you're, like, a hoarder. Yeah. In a way. Everyone is, like, a hoarder in a way. Yeah. And, like, dude, I have kept, like, m- mouses and keyboards because I was, like... No, what I if I need it? Day- yeah, one day, well, mine actually broke, so good thing yeah. I kept it. I needed it. But, like, it's like, dude, why do I have, like, three headsets? Like, why do I, shitty, head, like, why do I still have the Xbox headset, bro? All right, I ain't going to need that shit one day. What the hell? Yeah, I got Xbox Turtle Beaches. I got a bunch of Xbox remotes. Like, dude, they my shit, Xbox bro. is literally sitting right here. It's collecting fucking dust. I, it's not even plugged in. I threw mine away because so I was like, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> It was honestly so hard to do, too. Yeah. I was like, what if I want to play games on it again? What? Bro, you haven't played games in like four fucking years yeah. on this. What are you talking about? I was like, fuck it, man. I'm just going to throw it, and I just threw it in the dumpster. I, I saw a break, too. I was like, yep, yeah, I'm not getting that. I felt like that when I got rid of that fucking wheelchair. Mm-hmm. It was weird. It was a weird connection I shared with that wheelchair. I should have kept it, you veggie. <laughs> It didn't have any there fucking legs on it. So like even if even if I were to need it, like what am I gonna do? I can't fucking prop my legs up. They're just dragging on the ground. Like <laughs> you don't need them, you won't feel that shit anymore. And I'll tell you what though, I got pretty good at doing like the fucking where you're like lean back and so in it. balancing. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. do it without hands. Uh, I busted my ass a couple times, but Yeah, many times. <laughs> I mean, it takes practice, man. Yeah. I remember one time <laughs> Big Tyler was trying to do it, and he said something that, like, pissed me off. I threw bat dick at him. He fucking just, like, fell back. And, like, it was the <laughs> funniest thing. It, was it like, happened in slow motion. It was funny. Isn't that whenever he fucking... Oh, and then uh, he broke it! Yeah, he went to get up, and he, like, was using the chair to, like, push himself up, and he just broke the arm off yeah and then like, i took the arm and i fucking beat him with it yeah <laughs> well dude we all jumped him we were yeah. like you did not just do that yeah damn violent. bro you don't understand bro that wheelchair is like family dog i had a fucking gaming chair that this fucking asshole sat in and broke oh. i didn't beat him with it <laughs> you should have you should have <laughs> he fucking leaned back <laughs> it wasn't one where you like actually leaned back no dude <laughs> and it fucking snapped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally like it happened right so i'm like i was chilling i think i was probably even falling asleep a little bit because i was waiting for something right we we're supposed to go do something i, I was just chilling well anyway like it broke it did like i felt like i fell backwards and i just kind of laid there for a second i was like fuck <laughs> what do i do now i was like maybe i could put it back together and like as i was trying to like fuck with it and get it back together he walks in he was like what the fuck <laughs> what did you do <laughs> i was like man i found it like this i don't know <laughs> I yeah 
I apologize. Yeah, it's fine. You can just buy me a new one. It's cool. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. You were going to say something. <laughs> I'm just staring at you. There ain't nothing to say. I got nothing to say. One my chair. Yeah, fair enough. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll just like go to like one of the homeless communities in Austin and then just grab a chair. Right yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just grab it. So. All right. All right. Anybody got anything else? Ominous. I'm Gucci dog. I bet. Complete. I did it last time. Yeah, time. but no. you fucked up. You have to, re- you have to redeem yourself. But you, like fucked, it row. Row. But you I... fucked it up. But you fucked it up. You gotta redeem yourself. No, you've only done it once ever. Yeah. You no, you did it twice because no. you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Get it right. Or, I don't know. What up, fuckers? No, it's literally oh on the God. fucking it's, screen. That, it's on the screen, bro, bro. Oh, <laughs> First of all, we didn't do the intro, so maybe you should do that and then just yeah. go straight into the outro. But all right, what up, fuckers? Glad you tuned in. Does talking about absolutely nothing. Fuck you guys and have a nice week. And see you next week. I fucked it up again. Oh my <laughs> God. College degree you question have, mark? <laughs> you have to read the words on the you <laughs> I'm not an actor, man. I don't read scripts. Well, I feel like I you could at least come up with something better than that. Yeah, make your own make your own outro right now. I, every time I start saying one, you're like, that's not it, bro. No, go ahead. Make your own. Make your own. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Thanks, fuckers. Fuck you. Goodbye. That's a good one. That's solid. All right. Deuces. Peace out. God damn it.